Dr. Fem, insulin makes such an important part of diabetes management. Will you please tell our patients about the types of insulins and how they should be used? There are generally two types of uh, injectable insulins, uh, one called long-acting and short-acting. And the long-acting delivers what we call a basal insulin, which is it delivers a constant small amount of insulin to the bud continuously throughout the day. This insulin is uh, used in order to control the blood sugar that occur between meals and in fasting and overnight states. They are usually given once or twice a day. Um, on the other hand, we have short-acting insulins that are called bolus insulins, and they are um, given to offset the quick rise uh, in your blood sugar that occurs after meals. Both of these are used in conjunction to physiologically mimic the release of insulin um, from what a working pancreas would be. Um, there's definitely mandatory to be used in uh, type 1 diabetics. However, with type 2 diabetes who are unable to get to goal of their blood sugars on multiple oral medications, um, they tend to, uh, th uh, and this tends to occur after years of being a diabetic, um, the uh, uh, insulins can be uh, initiated in those patients uh, to, uh, to help them control their blood sugar. Um, it can be initiated earlier when a type 2 diabetic may have symptoms of severely high blood sugars, uh, such as when they have a critical illness or steroids when their blood sugar temporarily uh, increases. Uh, usually we start a basal insulin, uh, but can, a short-acting insulin can be added. And once they're added, it doesn't mean that you need to stop oral medications. Um, using oral meds with insulin can have a very powerful effect, particularly as uh, if you use the class of insulin sensitizers, which offloads, again, as we discussed earlier, the workload of the insulin in lowering the blood sugar.